All right, so here's a little update on my little goat theory process that I've been going through and wanted to show you guys what's going on. So first things first, let's go through the takeaway. Uh, this was a big change for me. Uh, I'll walk you through both uh, tiger swing and mine here as we get to same point in the swing. You'll see, again, far from being identical or perfect, but you'll see a big change from how I used to take the club away. This feels uh, very different, but the main, main point here is I'm not trying to get myself into the exact same positions as Tiger. I'm trying to get myself to move through those same positions as a result of how I'm trying to swing the club to generate power. Because as you guys know, my whole theory is everything breaks down because of power. The reason that you can't make that same beautiful swing that you make on the driving range or your practice swing when you're hitting the ball is always because your body's trying to make power and you don't know the true power source. And once you feel that and you understand that, then all of these quote unquote positions in the golf swing start to happen naturally. So my takeaway here is actually because I'm actually trying to stay more connected, which is what Tiger does. My arms are connected to my rib cage as I start the club back, and that naturally makes the arm angle in slightly more at uh, uh, during the takeaway. Oops. And I was also going to show the tush line because this is a really important thing that most golfers never get right in their swing. But uh, we'll we'll move back through that. So now pretty pretty close here in the ballpark, and then as we get to the top of the swing, the one thing that uh, you'll notice. Uh, is super, super important is that the hips have to go deep. And if you just listen to the podcast I just did where we were talking about Venkatesh's results and with Pedro and what he's gone through, uh, you'll you'll understand that uh, getting the backswing right is really like 90% of the golf swing. If you, if you understand where your power is coming from and you understand how to load yourself up in the backswing and why, then it's natural for your hips to go deep. But if, if you look at your swing on video, most golfers' hips actually move this way during the backswing. And this is because they're lifting their arms up to try and create power. That creates that old nasty uh, hacking motion. So make sure that you draw a line on your hip at the, uh, at the start of your swing. So if you just put a line right here, right on your tush, and as you go back during the backswing, as I talked about in the podcast, right hip deep, shoulder steep, and that will get your hips into a powerful position, but also make room for your arms to come down. And if you, if you look the opposite and your hips are moving into the ball during the backswing, you got mega problems. So from here, we're in the ballpark, far from perfect. My shoulders, my left arm's a little, uh, a little deeper here, which is pushing the right arm out of position, but we're in the ballpark here. And then as we start down, notice this is another area where most golfers really go wrong. So now you can see both my hips and Tiger's hips are butt are further back than where they started by an inch or two. And again, this is where most people actually go the opposite. They start moving and thrusting their hips into the ball. And this is again, because you don't know how to produce power properly in your swing. So overall, we're still in good shape here. And then as we get down to impact, for the most part, we're in good shape. You, it's even more critical at impact that your hips are behind that line. And again, if you're not, it's because you're not understanding how to produce power, how to use your core, your trunk, your legs, your hips, your glutes, your hamstrings, your obliques, all of these big muscles in our body to produce power. And so as you start to feel what's happening in your swing, and become aware of this, it's a really good exercise to draw this line here and make sure that you always stay behind that line until you get into the follow through. So lots of changes for me. So it takes a while to obviously be able to do these at speed, uh, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a quick update. You also see when you engage these muscles in your core, that during the downswing, your head will drop. I know Tiger was always criticized for that, but that's crazy. Of course, when you engage muscles, you, you shorten them. And so if you're engaging these muscles in your, on your obliques, in the backs, uh, your core, these muscles are going to shorten, which is gonna pull your head down. So you'll see that you should get shorter. And of course, as your left hip moves basically back diagonally this way during the downswing, that also pulls your head back and down. So you are always going to run out of uh, 
run, you know, run out of length in your muscles at some point, and that's going to pull your head out of position, out of where your starting position was. But that's normal. That's a dynamic movement of the golf swing that's important. If you're not doing that, you're not using your core for power. So long story short, uh, lots of changes here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update and show you kind of what's going on and what I'm working on. And uh, still have tons of work to do, but as I continue to work on understanding exactly how Tiger generates his power, all of these positions in the swing are starting to happen more and more naturally.